Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm here with Kevin DeWitt. He enjoys his muscle cars, and this one's gonna be a muscle wagon. And I think you're gonna enjoy it. So we're out at Fountain Hills at the car show, and Kevin and I thought, well, let's video this one. Kevin, what did you bring today? Brought a 52 uh, Tin Woody station wagon. Uh, it's a custom made car that I was fortunate enough to find a few years ago, and I love it. And let's take a look at our featured attraction. So this one, <laughs> you can see why I stopped to video this. That has a presence. Now share with me, we got a 52, but tell me a little bit about the front end. There's something a little unique about it. Okay, it's a 52 Chevy wagon. It's a real woody wagon from the beginning, but it has a 51 grill bumper and side spares on it because the 51 is a little, little more of a cleaner design. Uh, the hood, the fenders, the rest of the car is really original. It has a split windshield like you'd see in 52. Uh, the seats are the 52 seats that came with the car. Uh, Let's take a step but back. It has a lot of custom touches other than that. It's on a, it's on a road, uh, custom made Roadster Shop chassis. It has an LS3 Corvette motor in it, a new motor with all GM electronics. It has an LS, uh, LS3 uh, newer Corvette motor, it's 450 horse, and it has a 4LE uh, 60 uh, automatic transmission and a 49 inch rear end. Now when you said a 10 Woody, so this is all wood facsimile? This, this was hand painted by an artist in wow. Detroit, and back in the day, all cars, this is the original wood, all cars were wood on the outside, some had wood frames even. By 52, GM was putting the wood on the inside, but the outside of the car is actually, it was an applique back then, but this is hand painted uh, wood, wood grain, and the, the lady did a fantastic job. Yeah. Everything in the interior is basically original. The dashboard's original design, the clock works. Uh, they did make a custom tray in the bottom of the dash for the air conditioning and the heater. You can see all the radio knobs and heater knobs there. The old Melmac are still original. Uh, it does have new gauges in it, but they're in the original gauge pod. And that's one thing that attracted me to the car, is it has all 52 Chevy dashboard components, uh, components I should say, with updated features. The Pioneer is a backup camera, full screen backup camera, and that does work well. Uh, the seats, like I said, are the original seats. All the wood inside the car is original to the car. The bows on the top of the ceiling are chrome plated, but they were originally uh, painted brown. This car originally was in California. I've got pictures of it. It was a green station wagon with wood sides. The vehicle is, um, you know, there's, there's one thing where, you know, it has a lot of its originality, but yet the beautiful thing about this car is, uh, the modifications are done exactly right. I yeah, mean, it's, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's real right. tasteful. Even the front, the front door panels, they're curved like this, like the original door panels. Yeah, I see that, that bow. In yeah, there. They're, that's the way it came from the factory right. to give you more room in the interior. The back seat. I'm at a car show today, so we have chairs back here. But you've got the old grab rope. Yes, exactly. That was. Uh, that's how you uh, didn't have seat belts let's, back then. Let's show the the the, the tail, please. Okay. This is a little backup camera there. This opens up. Everything's chrome plated and done very nicely. The tailgate, the gentleman I bought it from uh, was retired and he, he did woodwork as a hobby. Oh, wow. He hand designed all this. These are original to the car. See the little holes there? That used to be a door lock button and the windows would slide back and forth. That's how they would lock them together. So this is original from 1952. It gives you an idea how nice the station wagon was to begin with. Yeah. This isn't for Coca-Cola. The batteries here, actually. Oh, that's neat. And there's see the little drilled holes in the in the sides. That's for the radio speakers. It's got a very powerful Pioneer radio uh, in it. But everything's been everything's been re-chromed. Everything's been done in the car. It was about a three-year build by Pratt Miller, large uh, restoration company out of Detroit, Michigan. Wow. All right, we'll button that back up in the back okay. and then I'll actually show them the back of the car. And the the low profile tires on this just look 
really like they fit so well. Yeah, the, the wheels are custom made shot. Wheels is the brand. And they're, they're Michelin, they're 20s, 20s in the back, uh, 18s in the front. And they're uh, six piston, uh, six piston Brembo's in the front, four piston Brembo's in the back. Uh, by Wildwood. Uh, it stops, it starts, it does everything it's supposed to very well. I like the car too because it has plenty of lights in the back so people can see you uh, stopping. Those are LED, the little ones. And then this is a, a reproduction of an old type uh, uh, car with the uh, stop on it. And that does light up when you when you put the brake That's on. That's great. And the backup camera. Let's yep. uh, take a look under the hood, shall we? Okay. A power it, antenna? It is a power antenna. It comes okay. on when the car starts. And under the hood, the, uh, the theme with the wood was carried on under the hood here. So they custom made That's cool. a cover for the motor. And uh, as you can see, everything's very clean. There's no wires, there's no nothing. The Wildwood uh, brake system is there and uh, is painted black. It just kind of blends in real nice. But this is a, like I said, it was a brand new LS3 uh, Corvette motor. And then the lady actually hand laid the wood design on there. The car has hooker headers. They go into a pipes uh, brand uh, cross uh, X pipe in the mufflers. I mean, even the the clamps, the hosing here. Oh yeah, everything's been custom made I mean, for the this cars. is just you know, there's I, I like originality, but I also like a really well done restored modified car. <laughs> this is that. Yeah, it's very clean. And, uh, Super clean. And I do take us out in the summer, and it will be 100, 110, 115 degrees around here sometimes in the summer. Car has twin fans on it. They come on thermostatically, and they're, uh, uh, the car works very well. Why this car out of all the cars in the world? We've always had a station wagon. We started towing with a Pontiac station wagon to the GTO Nationals in the uh, early 90s. And then we go on the Route 66 cruise here in Arizona and some other cruises. We've always had a wagon to carry our stuff, you know, my wife and I, and we used to take our kids with us at one time. And I always wanted a Woody, but living here in Arizona, having a Woody is tough because of the dry climate. Right. So when we were back in, uh, where we're from in Michigan a few years ago and saw this wagon, um, the tin Woody just made sense. And everything on this car is pretty much the way I would have done it. It's yep. just, it's just done it's just yeah. a right. From, it's just from, hard to find a car that you pretty much agree with everything that was put on it when it was this built. This is that one. I yeah, agree. And for me it was. My wife was on board, and uh, after about six months of talking to the uh, the owner that had it built, we were able to uh, make a negotiate with them, and we were able to own the car. So we're very fortunate. What's your wife's name? My wife's name's Kathy. Kathy, shout out to you. Great car, great choice. Let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. Kathy with a C or a K? With a K. Kathy with a K. Yeah. Said it was We're really okay. K and K. <laughs> Kevin and Kathy. Just, just like this. Just like a new Corvette motor. It sounds great. That's it, yeah. Let me listen to it. Idle, if you would please step on... Oh, that's a nice idle. If you would please step on the brakes for just a second. I want to show people what that looks like. Oh, that's cool. Let me listen to that idle. It's got a great low. Go ahead, give it a rev, Kevin. Oh, that's a Woody. <laughs> you, you, you can tell the car's running. Yeah, that's funny. Let's uh, take her for a ride, shall we? Okay. So we're here in Fountain Hills. We're driving around. This is probably one of the most famous strips in Fountain Hills, as you can see. Yeah, this is Avenue of the Fountains. This is our, our business district, uh, as small as it is. Uh, straight ahead is, the, uh, is the, the Fountain Lake. And then on the hour, every hour until about 9 or 10 at night, the fountain comes up. Fountains uh, at one time was the world's or the nation's tallest water fountain when all three of the uh, generators that push the water up are on it'll go up to 652 feet. Wow. So it's a big deal. Uh, it's kind of our, it's 
you know, obviously our main attraction here in Fountain Hills. All these apartments and condos and everything, this is all new. They're really uh, concentrating on making a center, you know, a nice center town of Fountain Hills. Where before it was pretty, this was all empty. It's pretty. Yeah, it's really, uh, really come along. Show nicely. some people some of the view there. Yeah. And by the way, the visibility in your wagon is tremendous. Yeah, see. there's a lot of windows, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna do a quick, s slow circle to show people how much visibility we have. How does it feel driving it? It feels great because it's very light steering. Yeah, it's, a, it's a complete custom-made custom -made frame. The frame is... Oh, is we're getting is, the fountain to shoot right there now. You, oh, this is great. What, a, what timing, yep. Yeah. It, uh, it's 11 o'clock uh, Fountain Hills time and it'll come on for the next uh, half hour. Well, we couldn't have picked that timing any better. Literally, yeah, it's just popped good. up as we're here. There's a beautiful mile and a half walk around here. You can uh, just come up and go walking, exercising. It's, it's a neat town. We, we certainly enjoy it here. We're very fortunate to live here. What's your reaction when you're driving this? Lots of thumbs up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a fun car it, to take It's places. the friend maker. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, thanks for bringing the car out. Thanks for sharing it on the channel. Thanks for sharing your town. What a pleasure. Thanks for being on my car story. Thanks, Lou. Appreciate it. Good working with you.